four scholarship athletes in Scott Frost's first recruiting class, but Frost has talked a lot about bringing back Nebraska's strong walk-on tradition. And his first class, 17 players, all from in-state, will walk on at NU. And assuming he qualifies academically, that number goes up to 18 with Elkhorn South, Moses Bryant. Nebraska's all-time 11-man leader in touchdowns at 105. Michael, do you think Bryant can make an impact with the Huskers? Well, the impact will be if he gets on the field. It'll allow Greg Sharp to have some great quotes whenever he scores a <laughs> touchdown involving Moses and part in the Red Sea. That'll be awesome. But no, there's no doubt. And I mean, Adam's been around long enough to know that Moses has been on our, on our radar since he was a freshman. His first game as a freshman, he was electric. We've been waiting all this time. I'm glad he finally, well, hopefully he gets to Nebraska. But I think he can contribute. He's, he's, not, he's a three-star, which you don't see a lot as a walk-on. And as a slot receiver, as a cornerback, if that's the thing, um, as a running back, I think he can do all those things. I think he can contribute. He's got to be very motivated, too, especially yeah. when it comes to academics. He's playing a little catch-up there in the last part of his high school career. Yeah. And, and it just seems like he really wants to be a Husker, you know, not much attention elsewhere. I, I mean, how much do you think he's motivated to really not just – get to Nebraska, but eventually earn a scholarship. I think he is. He's an amazing story. I mean, he's a kid who was in Sierra Leone as an orphan. He ends up getting adopted here in West Omaha. He comes here in third grade. You know how hard of a transition that must be. And then, yes, he struggled at the beginning of his, his high school career academically, but he's gotten it, for the most part, figured out, and he certainly can play football. We'll have to see how that goes. And let's take a look at some more walk-ons from this 2018 class. There's Jake Archer from Scott and all, and there's a familiar name, Anthony Banderas, younger brother of Josh Banderas, Brody Belt, he can ball over at Millard West, a couple other good ones there. Out of that list right there, Michael, who stands out to you? A.J. Forbes will play at Nebraska. He will play guard at Nebraska or center at some point during his career. I like Colton Feist. He's got good size. I like his athleticism. And Jake Archer is one of the toughest players I watched play in high school football these last three years. He's just tough. And you know what else? He's a playmaker. Every time there was a big play to be made for Scott, especially even against Elkhorn South, who was better than them, he always made the play. Jake Archer also with a huge play in the semifinals against Gretna, taking a pick, pick. six back yep. to the house. Ended up getting them to the State B class title game. Now, yes. as we keep looking through these walk-ons, interesting from Carney Catholic down to the bottom, Matt Masker, the guy who broke Scott Frost's record of career touchdowns, passing yeah. touchdowns, will now play for Frost and Lincoln. Some other big names there, Gretna's Joseph Johnson, Justin Holm, a big wide receiver at 6'4 from Lincoln Southwest. Anybody stand out to you there, Michael? Well, Joseph Johnson, who also is a basketball player and made a big shot, again, in the tournament to advance his team with Gretna. No, I, I like him a lot. I think he can contribute. The one that's intriguing to me is Wyatt Lever how he's going to fit in, where they're going to try to play him, because he's got really good speed. And you got to figure out a way to, to fit him into the offense. Um, but I think that those are the two that kind of stand out to me. A couple more walk-ons to look at here in the class of 2018. You have, uh, you know, York, Simon Odie from York. You also, uh, you know, Isaiah Stalbert, yeah. definitely an athletic guy coming out of Kearney. This is the page, because I think Simon Oti can play here. Cameron Piper's going to play because he's going to be a long snapper. Isaiah Stalbert could have gone someplace and played corner. Remember, what did they miss out in? Uh, in terms of recruiting class. They didn't get enough corners. That kid can play corner. And you look down the road, when they're looking for somebody to give a scholarship to, I think he might be one of them. And Ryan Schomer just got great size. I think he grows actually into a defensive end at some point and plays for Nebraska. I like that page. A lot of talk going into National Signing Day was about the number of walk-ons yeah. heading to Lincoln. They'll end with 18 if Moses Bryant can qualify mm -hmm. academically. Yeah. What do you make of that number, 18 for Scott Frost in the walk-on tradition? There's a lot of you know complaining about the number. Um, let's go back to 1989 when they had 48. You know, let's, let's go back to uh, 2002 and they had 30-something of it. No, it's a good number. I think it, you always want to be around 20, uh, depending on how your class is going and, and attrition. But he said it. He's going to try to keep as many of those kids in-state as he can. He told me years ago, he believes that in-state kids are going to play harder for you when it comes down to it. He saw it as a player. He understands it. That's why he's going to make sure those guys stay. When we come back on the OSI Big Red Recruiting Special, we'll look ahead to next year's recruiting class and discuss which top targets Nebraska has its eyes on. Stay right there.